What are you guys doing? Alright guys, coming from you to you from my closet. I know it's super professional, but I have to pack because we're leaving in like five hours. I also have to finish the Z headlights, finish editing this video, get this uploaded, and get started on the video that'll come up tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to try to get that up. Service is going to be a little spotty up there. I'm going to tape as much as I can, and so when I get back, um, I think like Monday or Tuesday we'll be heading back. I'll uh, get that edited and put back, uh, put up for you guys. I want to say thank you so much to everybody who's watching my channel and checking out my videos, even if you're just kind of scrolling through. Um, I mean, even, you know, just like thanks for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I really enjoy doing this and I want to get a lot better and I think I have and I've received messages that have said that I've gotten a lot better. So hopefully, you know, nobody's just lying to me. But anything you guys ever need, please let me know. I'm happy to help any way possible. Um, the Z headlights will be, I did a video on that, that'll be on this next vlog. So, yep, we will see you guys probably Tuesday. Yeah, I'm going to go get my uh, my country on. And just so you know, I was in the Army and I did live in Alaska for 12 years and everything, but I'm a city boy. I'm a city boy. I don't mind the woods. I don't mind getting dirty and hitting some four-wheelers and snow machines and whatever, but I just found out that uh, there's no power in the cabin that we're going to stay in, which is fine. But, I'm a city boy, <laughs> so this will be fun. Go on. Oh yeah, you're coming with me. Oh. Alright, I'm going to show you this. My wife and I both used to work at Buckle. She worked there. Um, couple years before I did and then I worked there after the army for a little bit so I can learn how to talk to civilians and you know like not choke people and give knife hands and stuff like that but I'm looking in our closet and this is kind of funny so Drop check this buckle, out you already know so this is a perfect example of a pocket fold and she has hers in between I think they're categorized between boot skinny and straights and then on my side pocket folded and then my dress pants which are a little less cared for but I don't have as many jeans but still pretty funny pretty funny and then she has like sweaters by color and then dress sweaters and then scrubs and then shirts we're actually really organized and then I have my dress shirts my flannels my sweaters then my jackets and then my shirts according to company so uh, tanks live fit um, I have two Oakley shirts, Patriot Alliance, and Black Rifle Coffee, and then like my whatever, Hurley and whatnot. And then I have long sleeve, three quarter, and then of course, my Hawks jerseys. I got a couple of these. Boom. Tony got me this for my birthday last year, the year before. And of course, you got to have Wilson. And a fan since the beginning of number 12. If you're not a Hawks fan, I'm sorry. I promise I know people get so frustrated when it comes to sports and they just, you know, turn people off on their lives because of sporting decisions or whatever it is. Like, I'm going to be a Hawks fan forever. There's the 12th man flag hanging in front of my house right now. The only time my American flag, which I'm the only person on my block that has an American flag, the only time it comes down is on game day for my Hawks flag to go up, which it went up last night for the game and then it'll come down this morning but uh well I take it on right away if we lose you know just mostly because I'm like really sad um, not because I'm ashamed even though sometimes Wilson just needs to learn to listen to me through the TV my wife thinks that uh, I wear a headset that Pete Carroll can hear me and that goes straight to Wilson you know Doug Baldwin came chance or whatever like I have this telepathy thing y'all just need to turn it on and listen I'm trying to help you help you help me I do not play fantasy football because I believe in one team one organization I don't believe in one player from each team you know whatever anyway I'm a Hawks fan through and through I'm from Seattle look at that nano collection man I might have ADD watching back some of my videos I'm just kind of like Doing whatever I want and just going off on rants. My bad. Welcome to my life. At least you're not stuck in here because it gets 
a little screwy sometimes. Reminds me, I gotta feed the dogs. All right guys, the more you follow my channel and the more chances I get to do it, because normally I don't get to, but I did get her the other night and the video wouldn't come through because it was too dark, so I'll put that next. But I love, love, love scaring my wife, all right? it It's just kind of like, almost to the level of seeing a new car part like come off the UPS truck and you just being like, Yee! I love scaring my wife. She enjoys it. Like 2% of the time, but anyway, so every Halloween, I go and I get a couple new masks and I hide them and I hold on to them for months. So last year, during the election time, not going to get into politics, but the, um, the clown thing, it was the thing, people were getting freaked out, like everybody was on edge, I get it. So what I did is... I went to the store, the Halloween store, and I bought a clown mask before they ripped them off the shelves and you know they started like going through and looking for everybody the clown mask. So I went and I got a mask. I hid it or held on to it for maybe three weeks and then one day my wife came home and she's like, hey, I'm gonna take a shower. I was like, perfect. So I had no idea. So I put all the dogs outside, hid them, shut the door so she thought I was downstairs. She's in there, candle lit everything just the mood set taking a wonderful shower what I did is I set and this is the old house I set it up on the uh, on our dresser and then I hid in the closet that was a sliding door and I hid there with my clown mask all black everything and it was perfect perfect view so it was basically across the room anyway I scared her I've never heard so many F words come out of her mouth before absolutely wonderful I scared her so bad she drops her towel and then turns around full frontal nude in front of the camera and everything. So I have this amazing video of scaring my wife, but it's worthless. I can't show anybody because I'm not going to do that to my wife. And it's just, oh man, like I tried apps where you can blur it and everything and I just, I couldn't get it to work. Um, and then that was on my last phone. So I think it, you know, went its way with the old memory. But anyway, I love scaring my wife. So going to the woods. Uh, she's at work right now. We'll be home so, uh, shortly. So I'm going to pack my bag now, which she thinks is already done, but I'm going to hide a few extras in it. So, whoops. So check it out. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> For starters, just a 99 cent plain white mask. This thing is actually really flipping creepy. Then I have my V for Vendetta mask that I painted black. You can see some of it's chipping. Put some foam in there so it's a little more comfortable and doesn't dig into my eyes. That's pretty freaking scary. And I like that you can kind of see the mustache a little. Anyway, and then of course, my clown mask. I actually utilize this to crawl into the back of my friend's car during the clown scare while they were leaving my house. And then I crawled from the trunk over the seats and then I just went up to Cheyenne and I was like, rubbing my nose all over. She literally started crying. Her mom got it on tape. It was phenomenal. If I can find the video or get the video, I will upload it on here. Literally tears. So then I get out of the car and then I come through the window and she's just bawling. Beautiful photo. I think I still have it. But anyway, so I'll put that next. So I love scaring my wife and we're going out to the woods with no electricity or no anything. So better believe I'm gonna bring a couple of these also I have like some Batman masks and I mean which isn't scary but you know I got them um, I have to look I have boxes of masks I got like a werewolf and just you know I get the cheap ones you know they're like five bucks and under because they go the longest I'll also Wait. be bringing my MMP AR-15 and my conceal which is an MMP shield I freaking love those Tony got me this for Christmas so Great. We're on our way. Get the directions, so. though. No service gate, up there. Uh huh. You're on a secondary road again. Okay. And it's windy and twisty. Oh, she's such a big. Okay. Half of it's black top, half of it's gravel. Uh huh. So. Aspen and I want to thank you so much for watching our vlog today. Say hi. Me. All she wants to do is cuddle. This dog would never eat or drink or go outside if you just allow her on the couch. Anyway, I'm going to get this uploaded and then I'm going to get part two of the weekend uh, vlog up 
and I'm going to show you what Kurt, Tony's brother, did to her Jeep. Stay tuned.